<laughs> don't know that I need to do that. I, I do need to show we have a bit of a gap in the floor. And then this area over here goes to what could be maybe a cold room and brewery area here. Although ceiling height might be an issue. Ceiling height is 11.6. I got it. <laughs> Again, we've got kind of a gap on the floor here. So this is going to take us out, it's just a furnace room here. To a very nice deck area. Oh, which is... Now those steps, I'll see if I can get over there, I'm not sure if I can on this video, but it goes up a floor and there's some space that we might be able to go through the ceiling uh, to uh, take some of the tanks. This place initially, when they redid it, this is from the 1920s, but uh, back in the 90s, I believe it was, they redid this and it was a barbecue place initially. So we've got some barbecue spots here. This is, uh, I'm gonna go around the other way, but this is sort of a back room between the, what are currently two spots and then into this bar. But, well, actually I might take you through that way. I wanted to show you what initially had been a, a refrigerated area back here and could be again, or could be opened up into the patio to maybe some, uh, um, some garage doors or something to kind of open it up. This is a second property here, kind of a bar in the back. This is 303 as opposed to 301 for the other property. And again, here's kind of, we're at the other end of that patio and there's those steps that are going up and then kind of above us here, a little stage potentially, uh, is area where we might be able to kind of go up through the roof if we need to for, bright, for tanks or fermenters or whatever. Um, there are some retail properties ahead of this. This just kind of ends here. Uh, the property right ahead of this particular spot that I'm at here is on a month to month and they have another property they might be able to move into that he'd be real happy with. So this might be another option would be to take this forward and go to the street here and not rent the corner spot, uh, but instead get this bar area. And then here we've got some bathrooms on this end. Lights off in here. There we go. And then also 
with this being a door maybe separating between the two um, we have women's over here and men's And now we're kind of back. Here's that room we were initially talking about. It's possibly a brew area. Worried about the ceiling height. And back into the kitchen here. I just wanted to show you sort of an outside view here and I want to go upstairs to Hey, how you doing? Good. To show you what we've got on the ceiling here. This is a stairwell we have no access to. That's for the upstairs tenants. This is an area maybe we could get something painted on the side if we talked with the people. Again, this upstairs area we don't have uh, access to, but it's a walkway, not a full patio, and we might be able to do some stuff. There's the back of that second bar. Uh, there's a lot of good parking right here. This is city-owned parking. So over here, this is the secondary exit for those folks, so there needs to be some sort of path for them to have a secondary exit. But at this point here, we're above that second bar area. So there may be some options for putting something through the ceiling if we need to for height. Uh, these spots over here, are, there's three tenants kind of in front of it on this side of the building as opposed to that side of the building. Uh, and again, this third one here um, might be very amenable to moving uh, to a nearby property. So we could potentially have that spot. 